Context clues. What are context clues? Context clues are clues or hints that readers use to find the meaning of unknown words. We can find clues to a word we don't know or don't understand in many different ways. We can find clues in pictures. We can also find them in sentences such as definitions, examples, synonyms, or antonyms. So let's see how we can use pictures to give us clues to the meaning of a word. There are many craters on the moon. If you don't know what the word crater means, you might look at this picture of the moon and guess that it is these round circles on the moon. If you do, you will be correct because craters indeed are these round and hollow areas on the moon. Now let's see how we can find clues in a sentence that shows us a definition. New York City has many skyscrapers or tall buildings. If I don't know what skyscrapers mean, I can use the next part of the sentence as a clue. The word or tells me that skyscrapers and tall buildings are very similar in meaning. That means skyscrapers means tall buildings. Now let's see how examples in a sentence could be clues to the meaning of a word that I don't know. Instruments such as the violin and the piano were played in the concert. If I didn't know what instrument means, I would look at the example in a sentence to give me a clue. When I read the words violin and piano, I can guess that instruments are tools that make sounds. Let's see how finding a synonym in the sentence can be a clue to figure out the meaning of a word. Remember that synonyms are words with the same meaning. I ran swiftly to catch the falling vase, but I wasn't fast enough. If I don't know the meaning of swiftly, the next part of the sentence gives me a clue. It says that I wasn't fast enough, which means that I must have been running fast. That means the word swift is fast. This time, let's see how finding an antonym in the sentence can be a clue to figuring out the meaning of a word. Remember that antonyms are words with opposite meaning. We want to move out of our small house and into a more spacious house. If you don't know what spacious means, you can probably guess from the sentence that they will move out from a small house to probably a bigger one. So the word spacious must mean big or large. Now when you're reading, try to use the clues in the story or pictures to help you understand unfamiliar words. If you liked watching this video and all my other videos, please subscribe and give it a big thumbs up below. Thanks for watching.